What is up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Going to do a mid-afternoon video here for a quick review. Uh, select 2021 guys. I don't know if you guys seen this. I got birthed by this last year. You're only getting three exclusive parallels. Basically, there's only 12 cards in this box. In this box, you're not you're not uh, promised an autograph. You're not promised signatures. You're not promised anything. And, and, and it's a Panini product. So I don't really like this product. But I uh, went to Walmart and I got, I, they didn't have too much. I had a couple of blasters of these, so I grabbed one just to show it off and to see what it looks like. And I also grabbed an bl Absolute blaster. And guys, let me tell you, some people don't like Absolute. I just pulled this card, nothing great. But for $21, or for $20 blaster in 1999, I got a couple of rookies. I got an autograph and a quad relic. You know, that's my idea of not the best box. But for $20, it is worth it. So far, of course, I haven't opened this at all. But this Select just doesn't seem to be worth it. It is a gorgeous product. It's a great looking cards. But I don't understand the value point. I don't understand why they can't put more cards in. or I don't know. But I figured on this channel, I like opening stuff, sharing it with you guys. And you guys can make your own decision. Um, Juan Soto gracing the front. So let's just do a quick rip. You're getting, like I said, 12 cards, three uh, parallels. Don't know if you can really see those odds, but kind of some information there. Looks like uh, four cards per pack and three packs per box. Give me a break. So you're looking for some big stars. But like I said, guys, let's see if we get our $19.99, 20 bucks worth out of three packs. Like I said, I am not planning on buying any more of this product. I'll buy an absolute box before I buy this box, but I might bite my tongue, but I have a feeling nothing great is going to come out of here for 12 cards. Here we go, guys. Jose Ramirez, Daniel Johnson rookie. Like I said, great looking cards. Manny Machado, Moonshot. Okay. And Jake Crawford. J.P. Crawford looks like some kind of uh, look at concourse. So it's kind of like a, a special. I mean, don't get me wrong. Look at those fancy smancy cards. But what is it? 50 cents? All right. Not trying to be a party pooper. I'm just trying to tell you like I see them. You guys, let me know in the, in the comments. Have you guys had some good luck with this select? Am I just being a weirdo here? Let's see. Starling Marte? No. Walker Bueller, like I said, great player, but it's a Panini product, so how much value does this really have? Sensations, gorgeous cards though. Blake Snell, and there's a nice rookie, Mick, uh, Nick Mandrigal, on one of those fancy, uh, see this is a premier level, level, see they have concourse levels and I mean, who cares? I don't understand why they even do that. All right, last pack guys, do you think we got $20 yet? Nope. All right, Charlie Blackman, Nate Pearson rookie card, Luis Robert, who's hurt, not a rookie, and Nolan Arenado, there's your fancy parallel card. It was in the All-Star game, of course, concourse level. But like I said, guys, not worth $20 for me. So I won't buy any of these more, but I'd love to know what you guys thought about this rip. Think about liking and subscribing, guys. I drop videos daily and, and weekly and sometimes daily multiple times so uh, appreciate your support think about liking and subscribing describing johnny out